Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on how to erect a scaffold safely and correctly. Before you begin, always assess the ground. If the surface is soft, uneven, or could be damaged, use sole boards to distribute the load and stabilize the base. In our demonstration, we're working on a solid surface, so we're using base plates only. Start by placing four 2.5 meter tubes together to define your base frame. Mark your measurements from zero to 200 millimeter and from 200 to 2100 millimeters on all sides. Now, position base plates and double couplers at each corner. Attach the first standard by securing it to the ledger and transom. Before moving to the next standard, always check the level on the ledger and transom. Once leveled, secure a double coupler, then proceed to fix the second standard. Repeat this process for all four corners, ensuring the structure remains level. To check for a perfect right angle, use the 345 method. Measure 300 millimeters along the transom. Measure 400 millimeters along the ledger. The diagonal between these two points should be 500 millimeters. From the ground, measure up 1.9 meters and install the ledger on both sides. Place board transoms over the ledgers with single couplers and ensure they are perfectly level. Below the ledgers, fix structural transoms using doubles on both ends. Fix bracings on all four sides to stabilize the scaffold and prevent movement. Fix the standard for the gate. Measurement depends on the gate width. Then, install short lift ledgers. You can either replace boards or insert a step ladder depending on access needs. Measure one meter from the transom up and fix the top guardrail. Then, measure 470 millimeter down from the top guardrail to install the midrail. Now fix the intermediate transom and plan brace. Lay scaffold boards securely. Fix and secure the access ladder. Now fix ladder access gate. Install tow boards using single couplers. Finally, fix punch-in. That's a complete walkthrough of scaffold erection, step by step.